Hi, and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about the most disappointing books of 2014. I did this video last year and it's kind of just describing books that I was so excited for that were coming out this year or that I read this year. Either they had a lot of hype or I thought the plot sounded interesting and I ended up being very disappointed by them. The first book that I'm going to be talking about is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. This book was kind of a dark retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It is about this girl who is married off to this evil beast and she must kill him to save her village. And I read this book in the beginning of the year. I was very intrigued by it. I really enjoy retellings, although I thought this book was not really my cup of tea. It kind of had a bunch of different elements. Part of it was fantasy. Part of it was retelling. And I feel like it was just a bunch of different genres mashed into one book. And sometimes that's interesting, but this book I felt like it was not very well done. And I was also not a fan of the romance. It turned a very simple romance into a love triangle. And I felt like that was not really necessary for the book. Next is Panic by Lauren Oliver. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I absolutely adore Lauren Oliver. She is one of my favorite authors. So when I heard she was coming out with a new book, I knew I had to pick it up. This book is about a small town, and every year they play a game called Panic. And it is a game kind of filled with these different really difficult, dangerous challenges, and whoever wins gets $50,000. Now, I thought that this book was okay. It had the typical beautiful Lauren Oliver writing, but I thought that the plot was a little lacking. I thought that the games that the kids played were interesting. It just wasn't very grabbing, and it really wasn't what I have learned to come to expect from Lauren Oliver. Next is The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski, and if you are on booktube, you know that this book has been raved about for a few months. It is about this world, and there is a lot of different kind of class struggle. And the main character named Kestrel is a very kind of rich daughter of an official. And she is at the market and buys a slave. And they kind of develop a relationship. And the plot kind of goes from there. So when I heard about this book, I thought, this is going to be my thing. It kind of sounded like a dystopian, a good romance. However, my main issue with this book is that a lot of people call it a fantasy, and I don't really see that. There were no real fantastical elements in this book. It was more of a dystopian, so that was a bit misleading. Also, I really did not like the main character. I thought that she was really bratty and whiny, and I felt like for me this book just kind of dragged on. And I honestly don't see what all the hype is about, but I know so many other people that I really respect love this book. Next is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This book was kind of pitched to me as kind of a YA version of Game of Thrones. It is about this fantasy land where there are three different kingdoms and there's a bunch of different struggles to uh, own the land of this kingdom and it follows four main characters. Now so many people on booktube love this book. They say, oh, it's one of my favorite books of the year. It's almost as good as Game of Thrones. So obviously I had to pick it up. I thought that the world building in this was very poor. This was nothing like Game of Thrones. It was kind of just a poorly written fantasy in my opinion. And in addition, I really did not like any of the characters. I also read the second book in this series, which is Rebel Spring. And that didn't really do it for me either. I just felt like this book needed a lot more plot and character development. Next is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. This was probably my number two most anticipated book of the year. I even got an advanced copy of it. I was so excited for this book. So this book is about a dystopian society where the death rate is higher than the birth rate and it is about a girl named Meadow who's trying to survive in this world and she meets a boy named Zephyr. And my main issue with this book, I wasn't really a fan of the characters. Again, I really just needed some more character development. There was so much insta-love, and I just felt like this book was very short, and I just, I really wanted more. I really wanted to connect with the world and the characters, but for me, it just wasn't there. And unfortunately, my most disappointing book of 2014 is The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Now, if you know me, you know that I love this series more than anything in the world. This is one of my all-time favorite series. I have been waiting for this book for probably about two years. And I read it, and I just... 
I liked it, but I just thought it was okay. It was definitely my least favorite in this series. I just thought that it kind of took a very different turn from the other books. It had a very different feel to it. It was a lot more graphic and gory, and I felt like the ending was very rushed. And so many questions. The thing with this series is you have so many questions that just keep building up and I expected some answers and I really didn't get them in this book. I really wanted to love this book but unfortunately I couldn't because I really just needed some more answers from this series. So let me know in the comments down below what your most disappointing books of 2014 were. Do you agree with me on any of mine? So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again soon.